Hey peoples, this is another movie review of Lorena Lightfooted Woman. Now this movie is a documentary on Netflix about Lorena Ramirez. She lives in a small community in Mexico and pretty much lives a secluded, tranquil life with her family. But she does have another life and that's being an ultra marathon runner. Now I'm really surprised that this movie is actually a documentary. Not to say that the story isn't interesting because I actually do like the story, but there's not much here. Lorena is interesting. I like her mentality and her sense of humor. Well, the little bit we actually get to see, but mostly she's a quiet person. Everyone in this movie talks more than she does. She doesn't smile when she's running, when people are cheering her on, when she's taking pictures with people, she's not smiling. She doesn't seem like she wants to take pictures or be there with people. She seems like she just enjoys running and partaking in the marathons. But like I said, I really like her mentality because she even talks about people taking pictures and wondering will they still want to take pictures with her when she stops running or if she stops winning. So she knows this is all temporary. And though she barely talks, she is the best part of the film, which is good because it is about her. The problem is most of the film is lackluster because they don't have much material because she's not a talker. She's a quiet type of person. And mostly you get other people talking about her versus her talking herself. And that I feel is the disconnect. And also that means the director has to get more creative and add more stuff and it feels like it's just padding out the runtime versus giving us actual information. And honestly, overall, I really didn't like the directing. When the movie first starts, you get a shot of her running and the camera's bouncing up and down with her. I personally don't like handheld shaky cam. It's very distracting, it gives you a headache, and it's just not fun to watch. Also, there are shots with other cameramen running behind her, and that's very distracting. And one of the strangest things about the directing is that one of the scenes we get an opening of a woman, which I'm assuming is her mother, I'm not sure. But the mother is in a room, and when they first show the room, it's a little boy over in a bed sleeping, and then the mother is bending down, and it looks like she's preparing corn. So the camera zooms into her preparing the corn, and then it pans back a little bit, and then there's another man and little boy in the shot behind the woman. Now, they weren't there at first so it's weird that they clipped that it didn't make any sense in a narrative way so that was strange to me but anyway like I said there's not much here so basically you get a couple of long shots of the family just walking around with goats and you get some scenery scenes they're just trying to pad out the runtime and also because she doesn't talk that much the movie has to fill that dialogue space they do that with someone randomly whispering unless i miss something they don't explain that it's her mother they don't explain that it's lorena they don't explain anything there's just voiceover of somebody randomly whispering and it sounds like it's a poem or maybe a song something of that nature but you can tell it's just to fill space because they had nothing to put there so even though i like the story of lorena and her quiet personality I don't think it's the type of personality with enough information in order to make a documentary about it. Even though the documentary is less than 30 minutes long, there's still not enough there to fill up that whole time. So no, I don't suggest watching this, but that's all peoples. Thank you for listening. Thank you for subscribing, the thumbs up, the retweets, the commenting. I really like the commenting. I really appreciate all you've done. Please continue to have a great day. God bless. I'll talk to you later.